Okay, thanks for tuning back in, folks. Uh, this video two record sets in VBA. We're looking at the ADO. The last video we looked at the DAO record set. And uh, without any further ado, let's go into our code here. Uh, last time we looked at the DAO, and uh, remember this is the easiest way to make a database connection because you're already in the jet engine and you're already using that connection uh, we have current database we don't need to set a new connection in the ADO we're gonna have to this is I would recommend this for this is more it's a lot more slim line is streamed streamed for uh, It'll stream for efficiency. I'd like to use this for websites and uh, things that I'm making a connection to. That because you use OLEDB, which is a lot thinner, thinner uh, client, and allows a better connection to the to your data source. Record set again is a set of records. Uh, the ADO record set active data objects. We have the create we have to make a connection we have to declare a connection here okay uh, now there's two different ways to do this I'm gonna highlight these two things here we have late binding and we have early binding okay late binding is what you'll use and on a website or some other like Visual Basic or something that uh, or vp.net that you don't have a you can't go up here to the tools menu I'll show you that if you go up here to the tools menu and you click on references uh, you notice that they have all these little libraries well these are all the libraries that you can you can tap into you can tap on the and there are a lot of them here so if you have Excel if you want to use that object library remember every application uses its own form of VBA Visual Basic for Applications so having an object you have all these different object models you can tap into now this one in particular the, the early binding is if you bind to one of these libraries right here now if we were to look down here the list of the Microsoft uh, we have the ActiveX data data uh, 2.51 library you actually have all these for different versions of access that you have I like to use 2.5 just because it's uh, pretty much everybody has it on their machine no matter what they what version of access are using uh, so it's gonna be there if you want to use 2.8 fine if you want to use 2.0 well more power to you I like to use this but anyway you check place a checkbox here for early binding then you could use IntelliSense okay now I'm going to say no, and no, I'm not going to select it. Now, back back to the code here. I have a, if I don't use early binding, I have to create the object. So, what I use create object. What this does, this keyword does, is it says, okay, go find it on the machine somewhere where the, the ADODB library is, and I want the connection object. I want a connection object and then I want to declare I want to make the CN and equal to equal to that and make a new connection now since access gives you the connection you don't have to specify your parameters well that has to do with DAO and then I'm going to set my set my CNN equal to the current project uh, which is my current connection in my access database and then I'm going to set my RSD equal to the create object. Okay, I'm creating another object. Now I'm getting a record set. And this is a uh, blade binding again. I can't use IntelliSense. And then open up the customer's table with my connection, CNN. And then while I'm not at the end of the file, I first want to move to the first record then while this is my prediction uh, for uh, while I'm not at the end of the records make sure you print this and then move to the next record and then here I call garbage collection I'm setting I'm closing out my record set I'm closing out my connection I'm saying and set the record set nothing this will removes it from memory 
So I'm going to press F5 and down here I'm going to see actually I don't think you saw that. You saw a little bit of it and we're going to update. And in the moment here I'm going to go ahead and press F5 again. You see the, see the result up on in your media box. So again, I'm going to put these on the website. Uh, there's two different variations: the DAO record set and the ADO record set. We will in our next video. We'll look at the at using these inside of a form and uh, actually making a connection to the database and using it in a form context. So stay tuned for that. It's more fun and excitement. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.